It's not easier to be an e-girl or thought you're not living on recruit difficulty just because a lot of guys will pay to see your naked boobs. It's not fair. And these females are not living on recruit difficulty. Fellas, say it with me. We were simply born the wrong gender. That's it. That's just the only type of way that I feel about it by now because every time I go on Twitter, I just want to throw up at something that I saw some dude do. And if you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw me tweet about this already. But if you don't, I had to share it with the fellas here on the channel because this is just sad. Like, beyond fucking sad. So what happened? Well, there's this Twitch streamer. She's got about 150,000 followers on Twitter. I'm sure some of you guys have heard of her. Maybe seen her on the timeline like I do occasionally. She posts content like this on Twitter, so you know. Stuff like this just goes around whether you want to see it or not. And from what I could tell, she's a just chatting streamer on Twitch. So as we know, that's a very, very high effort form of content. And I might be wrong about this, but she may have dated a professional Call of Duty player or former pro or something like that. I don't know. I don't keep up with esports. Well, it may have just gotten famous for basically doing nothing. So you know what? At, at this point, I respect it, guys. You know, if I could get famous for doing nothing, I would do it right now. Good for you. It's not the people providing the content that are the problem. It's the people that are consuming the content as we're going to see right now. This is just sad and gross. So what did she post on Twitter? Here's the tweet here. Ready? It says, I put my used braces on Depop for $5,000 as a joke and someone actually bought them. Image number one, it's her hand holding the used braces and it says, my used braces, two years old, condition used good with a price tag of 5K. Now the second screenshot here, it's the confirmation email from this website, whatever this is, Depop, and it says, you just sold an item to at Joseph King 007. Look at you go. So the first thing we got to figure out guys is who the fuck is Joseph King 007. And pal, if you're watching this video, like what what's going on? Are you okay? You need someone to talk to? Are you one of those fin sub guys that gets off in this? Are you healing from something? Something traumatic happened in life? You can't just be a normal guy and buy this, right? Like, I have no word. I'm speechless. It's used braces. You know how disgusting a pair of used braces has to be that are two years old? They've been in your mouth for two years. Fellas, you know what fucking grows in your mouth? Like just to wake up one morning and fucking smell and look inside what's at your mouth. If someone wants to buy that, like, I'm sure you clean them and shit, but you, you can only get those things so clean. You know what I'm saying? Right? When trying to brainstorm what you could get out of this, I'm just coming up with blanks here. Right? I, I know there's dudes out there that want to buy, like, girls use panties, which is fucking nasty. Okay? I, I'm not defending that. But at least if someone was going to make an argument for that, I could at least see where you're coming from while strongly disagreeing with it. There's just this entire economy around buying girls used things. Like, dude, I saw one chick on Twitter once, some OnlyFans girl, she was selling her used toothbrushes. What are dudes getting out of this? What does it come to? How have we gotten this sad? I saw another girl too. I've actually been saving this topic for a while, but there's this one chick online that literally sells her used garbage, like wrappers of food that she ate out of used bags of trash with like dirty paper towels and napkins and stuff and there's people out there buying it how do we end this it's just a full-blown economy of buying things that girls once used and now since a woman touched it you want to own it forever you want to keep that to yourself they're not even attached to the item you're not buying them is that what they think maybe there's some kind of crazy rationale going on in their head it's got to be a mental illness i don't know how else to put it right there were always those dudes in high school that had no bitches whatsoever but dude i can't even tell you like the biggest losers that i can remember from high school the band kids the theater kids the goth kids dudes that watched anime like okay back when i was in high school yo you could not watch anime right you couldn't tell anybody if you were in that you had to keep that shit to yourself now it's cool for some reason but even those guys had more bitches than the guys that are buying these things out here on the internet in 2022. I, I swear, sometimes I really think I might be getting old. All right, so let's read some replies that we saw on Twitter. Here was the first one. It says, 
as a joke, right? Just like people list a slice of toast that maybe looks like Jesus as a joke, certainly no hope in your mind that someone may buy them, right? I mean, he's got a point, right? A lot of people, I feel, say that they do something on the internet as a joke and they actually really want something to happen from it and then they post about it after, but... They always make that preface by saying, no, 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 it was just a joke, bro. You know, I doubt it, right? If you took the time to make that listing on the website, I think I, I think you knew in the back of your mind that someone was actually going to buy it. And maybe you just wanted to tweet about it after, but it got the attention that it deserved, all right? This has thousands and thousands of likes. Whether you think it's cool or you're just laughing at it like me, I mean, it did its job. It got noticed on Twitter. That's the game. Get used to it. This dude says, shit, I'm going to try and sell my Midnight Titanium 1837 Tiffany bracelet for $10,000. They don't make them anymore. Original price, 800 bucks. My dude... My dude, my dude, you seem to have forgotten. You're not a female, right? No one's going to pay you shit for this. You're one of us. You're one of the unlucky ones. In fact, you know what? Oh, man, I just thought of a great business idea, all right? Here's a free idea. Deadass, I promise you this would work, all right? We got to get some Twitter girls out there with, like, a decent following and just have them tweet out. I'm selling, you know, whatever the item is. Who wants it? Then when all the thirsty motherfuckers come up in the replies and want to buy whatever the stupid item is, it's really me sending it to him, and then I just pay the girl like 50%. It's basically e-girl marketing, right? It's just girls pretending that they're selling stuff that's not really theirs. To the five female viewers of this channel out there, are any of you in the position to do that? Let me know. This guy says, yup, she knew some weirdo would buy them, so she decided to exploit them. Using the pretense that it was a joke conveniently strips her of any wrongdoing. So, absolutely not, my dude. I don't know what kind of logic this, this is like incel meninist shit. Or you're exploiting men on the internet. Like, like, no one's exploiting anybody, my dude. These dumbasses want to buy these things on their own, and nobody is forcing them to do that. It's sad, and maybe this is a defense mechanism because you don't want to admit the awful truth of <laughs> the nature of most males out there, but this is the real world, my man, all right? No exploitation here. Supply and demand. Very simple economics. You hate to see it. Because I took economics classes. This guy replies to that and says, right? It's like when they slam OnlyFans girls. Don't blame them for making a bag. Blame the virgin guys for buying the product. Exactly what I'm saying. Yep. Then this gamer girl comes in here and says, this might be the strat. That's the part that I hate about this most. You know what I mean? If you're out there, if you're a girl, you're out there, you're showing that you made $5,000 by selling your used, disgusting junk and garbage to sad men on the internet then other girls are going to see that and want to do the same thing. Now, is that a bad thing for them to make money? I mean, it's not bad, but I'm not going to call it good. Are you a hoe for doing that? Maybe. There's a word for it. I don't know. Maybe you're ratchet. There's some, there's some word, okay? I like to keep the word hoe reserved for actual hoes, but you're definitely something, and I wouldn't want my daughter doing this. Well, fellas, that is about enough goddamn internet for today. That was truly disgusting. You know, I, I've seen a lot out there on Twitter, and I know there's worse. Believe me, I know there's worse. There's plenty of stuff that I am not allowed to share with you on YouTube, but it's still sad that it's becoming so mainstream, right? Like, I know a girl in real life now that's selling her used panties, and she's, like, not even famous. She's, like, a pretty normal person. And the influence of shit like this is spreading really, really rapidly. It's not good. All right, it's not good. Turns these girls trashy and gives these sad, pathetic men an outlet. And dude, one of these guys is gonna snap one day. He's gonna think that he owns the girl if he buys her stuff. Something bad's gonna happen. Anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments below. I'm sure the fellas will have oh so much to say about all this. And I look forward to reading your responses as always. If you enjoyed the video, then do not forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome, amazing videos just like this. Turn on your goddamn notifications so that you can be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live. Special thank you to my channel members as always for your extra support. You guys are the true MVPs and I could not be doing this without you. Check out Defy Merch down below. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and my second channel. Links to everything is in the description. And I will see you dudes in the next video. Love you, bye. Stay safe, fellas. For real.